welcome to another studio vlog. We will hang out for a whole week together in my art studio. I'll show you some footage from a market on Sunday. We'll paint around 20 ornaments and we'll package Etsy sticker orders together. Hey, it's Monday and it's about 2 in the afternoon right now. Before we go about the rest of the day, I want to show you some footage from yesterday at the market. Say hi! <laughs> Mary Ann Esker, please. And it's been great so far. Um, the wind has been crazy, but um, it's kind of died down a little bit. It was totally worth braving the wind. This market was a really good market. It was one of my best ones that I've done so far, but the wind was so crazy. We had some very scary moments with our tent. <laughs> But overall, it was a lot of fun. My sister-in-law, Brittany, came to help me, and it was so worth braving the wind. So I have something exciting to share with you. I got my very first wholesale order last week, and it's for 20 ornaments. I painted four ornaments already for that wholesale order um, last week. So I have 16 ornaments left to paint for that order. And then I have two orders for custom ornaments. One is for two and then another is for three. So I have a total of 21. Oh, and plus another custom ornament. So 22 ornaments to paint. So I'm going to be on a an ornament painting marathon this week. <laughs> These are the four of the wholesale order that I have finished already. So these are completely done and I painted these with acrylic. I know a few vlogs back I was like, oh I'm never painting with acrylics ever again, but um, I decided to use acrylics for these butterflies because I thought it'd be a lot easier to paint with acrylics instead of oils for these. So I had to write out all of the um, ornaments I need to paint. I also have another one that I, d I did not write on here that I um, need to paint too. I will be painting pine trees and snowy landscapes and um, bees. And here are all of the ornaments we will be painting on. So those are for the bees. These will be the pine trees and then these will be the snowy landscapes. And I also want to say that I got something really exciting. What I put on these is called a watercolor ground. So you can tell it left um, texture. I had a difficult time trying to make it really smooth. But I found that with watercolor ground, it's a lot easier to apply it with a palette knife instead of a brush or instead of like a sponge brush thingy. I got transparent, which I have not tried. I also got the white watercolor ground. So we will paint on these and um, try them out together. I hope that it'll work out. Oh, and I also got this watercolor medium. It's iridescent. I am really excited to try this out. I'm thinking that I'll use it for my winter landscapes for the ornaments. I think it'll... Um, really be pretty. One other thing I, will, I really want to show you are my new narwhal stickers. I think in my last sketchbook Saturday I painted this narwhal and here he is as a sticker and I tried out a new sticker manufacturer and their stickers are really shiny. 
I tried out Sticker app and I usually use Sticker Mule. Here, I'll show you. This is from Sticker Mule and it's not as shiny as you can see. It's more of like a smooth matte and like a, a silky smooth sticker paper. Anyways, I'm not sure how I feel about this um, sticker paper, but it was worth trying out sticker app. I think for now on I'm going to be ordering from Sticker Mule, but I would like to try out um, Sticker App's holographic stickers. Anyways, I just wanted to show you guys my new stickers. Alright, here we go. And I'm also going to try out this iridescent medium. So exciting! <laughs> finished with these three ornaments and I am very happy how they turned out. They're so shimmery and magical looking. I am definitely in love with this watercolor iridescent medium. There's Leo on my chair on a blanket on paper and a plastic sack. Cat's Paradise. I think um, I am going to call it a day and I will see you tomorrow. versus artist is popping up again on Instagram and so I put together my collage for that and posted that to Instagram and now here I am 
Um, I'm going to paint as many ornaments as I can today. Right now I am going to be painting some bees, four bees for the wholesale order. <music> finished painting these bees. They were um, kind of challenging for me to paint with oils. I kind of feel like I should have just um, painted them with only acrylics. My black oil paint I can't find and so I had to mix up a black and when I added the black next to the yellow it kind of made the yellow a little green in some areas. I don't know if you can tell. I might go back in some of them and add a bit more yellow, but for now, they are finished. All right, it's time to paint more pine tree ornaments. And I'm getting my paints out. I think I'm gonna try out some of these metallic paints. It's hard to open this with one hand. <laughs> I think I might try maybe some of these blues, maybe that purple, I don't know. One of these, with the ornaments, with two of them, and then another one, I'm going to make it more purple, like this one. I don't know if you can tell in the video, but in person, it has purple in it. And here are the other two from yesterday. They're just so pretty. I got a lot of feedback yesterday in my Facebook group and Instagram that you guys love these, so I'm just really happy about that. Anyways, um, let's get started. Mm -hmm. watercolor moon face tutorial and I um, 
um, just uploaded it to YouTube and I think by the time you watch this vlog it'll be up because it's already up and I still haven't edited this vlog so and now um, I have a cup of tea and it's really dreary out and cold and windy and rainy <laughs> and so a cup of tea sounded nice and I'm going to continue on with the ornaments. I have, um, how much do, how much do I have? Eight? I have eight ornaments left to paint for the wholesale order and the custom ornament orders. So I only have eight left. I'm going to paint six, um, winter scenes on these ornaments that have the watercolor ground. I also want to paint two ornaments that has um, a, like has like a cardinal on a snowy branch. I don't think I'll get to those today. I think I'll just save that for tomorrow. So yeah, let's get started. my moon face tutorial premiered so I um, attended that live as it premiered and what else did I do oh I added my new narwhal stickers to my Etsy shop and my web shop I took some footage of me adding the narwhal stickers to my shop and of the video premiere this morning so I'm going to input that here right now I just got done editing my photos for my narwhal stickers and I uploaded them to the narwhal sticker Etsy listing. I thought that I would show you a little behind the scenes of um, how I find keywords. So I use Marmalade and um, you can 
search like any keyword. So if I put um, vinyl, oh, there, vinyl stickers. And then you can um, see like how popular this keyword is and if it is a good keyword to put in your Etsy listing like either in your title and also like as a tag and so you can see like how popular it is um, throughout all of the past months and future months and um, how often people like click on it and engage with it competition is like really high um, and searches are really high but yeah it's a really cool tool um, you can also see like popular vinyl sticker listings and um, just a bunch of info oh and these are my Etsy listings here so yeah it's just a really cool tool and it's not that expensive you have to pay like a certain um, fee a month for it but um, it's, it's so worth it it's really helped my Etsy shop anyways I just thought that I would share that with you guys if you want, I can make a more um, in-depth video about this, but yep. So I am um, adding these Narwhal stickers to my Etsy and I'm also like researching um, other Narwhal sticker listings and seeing like what keywords they use and stuff. So the Narwhal sticker is now in my shop. I also duplicated it here to test out some keywords and such and I do that with um, a lot of my basically all of my listings I duplicate them one or three t like one or two times and to kind of test out and see what gets found I also just added this painting to my shop you can actually um, watch me paint this in my last studio vlog. I'll link that um, above in the video and below in the description. And I also, let's see, what else did I add? Oh, I added um, a narwhal print to my shop too. So yeah, that's what I've been doing this morning. I uploaded the moon face tutorial. Thank you for your comments. Painting for beginners, Soleil man art, side hustle artist. Thank you. <laughs> and I also want to um, say you guys are awesome. My last studio vlog. Um, got a lot more views than usual and I'm so thankful for that and I got a lot of comments thank you Kristen Hannah Susan's creative Jeg's channel Emma Bethany um, Emika Jasmine, Draw With Johnny, you guys are all awesome. I appreciate you so much for commenting on my videos. I hope you guys like this vlog just as much. <laughs> and then I wrote out my weekly e-newsletter that I send out every Friday morning. So I wrote that out and I scheduled it. And I also went for a run and ate lunch and I took a nap because I was really tired. Um, so I took a, a really short nap and now I have my tea. And now, after all that, I am going to paint two ornaments today and I'm going to paint two cardinals. I'm thinking um, one can be in, like inspired by this painting here that I did last year. And the other one, um, I'm thinking of painting a female cardinal. So we'll do that together. And I also need to um, prime all of these wood ornaments here with the watercolor ground because I miscounted. I thought I only have two more left of the wholesale order, but I have four left and I don't have any more that has the ground 
the watercolor ground. So I need to apply that to more ornaments and it takes like three days to cure. So I can't work on the last two until pro probably Sunday or Monday. All right, that was a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's get started on the cardinal ornaments. This is my longest vlog yet. If you've watched this far, I just want to say thank you. You're awesome and it means a lot that you like my vlogs. Anyways, I'd like to know your thoughts about long vlogs like this. Should I vlog all week and make these long vlogs or should I only vlog a day or two and make shorter vlogs? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next studio vlog and maybe by then I'll finish the last two ornaments of this wholesale order. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, thank you and I'll see you again soon.